we were supposed to our preferences for our rotation selections are due tonight at midnight it is currently 1050 the website we have to submit it to like we practically ddosed it i'm so stressed out right now literally i just spent the past hour and a half ranking what places that i wanted to go for my rotations and it's all gone it just it all disappeared i don't know where it went now it's having errors oh my gosh i'm not happy right now literally if if this goes through and we can't submit anything my next year of life is just rng i'm gonna end up wherever this is terrible oh fix your freaking website please <laughs>
the next year of my life to be chosen randomly. I don't think anybody wants that. So let me go to uh, this ultrasound sim and get a couple things done. Then I'll explain to you guys a little bit more on how our rotation system works. Who do you think you are, Myla? We made you a bed. You were not allowed to be on that. Myla? Fine. You win this time. When, when I had like my off on the side, I was like, this was like not your usual performance. And I was like, Okay, so starting in January, we will have the entirety of 2022, January to December, to complete a series of six week rotations. We have to cover a specific set, I guess a few categories of rotations. So your core rotations, which is what our third year, or well my, my I guess M3 year, consists of Pediatrics, internal medicine, family medicine, uh, OBGYN, neuro and psychiatry, even though neuro and psych are separate. So each of them are three weeks, but they count as one block. And then surgery. Did I get all those? I can't tell, hold on. Okay, yeah, it's surgery, I am, it's internal medicine, family medicine, pediatrics, OBGYN, neuro, and psych. And neuro and psych are three week rotations that add up to a six week total block, as well as we have two six week elective rotations, which is new to my year. Now, the crazy thing about how we do rotations, especially because my school is the only public school in the state of Georgia. With that being said, we have outreach to literally almost every single healthcare system in Georgia, which means for our rotations, we could go pretty much anywhere in the state. I could be sent to Rome, Albany, Savannah, Macon, you name it, I can probably go there. Even in the middle of literally nowhere like Thomasville. You don't have to know what any of those cities or where they are, but just know that we have a lot of outreach, but kind of like a tyranny of choice situation. So there are two big choices or selections we need to make. One, the order of which our rotations are set, and then where we do each rotation. There's a set available schedule that is released to us, and why I was panicking at the beginning of this video is because we need to rank each one as a preference. So say I wanted to do OB, then internal, then family, then my elective, then surgery, then, you know, you get the idea. If that is my preferred order, I would rank that number one, and then you would go through all the other 35 possible options and rank them one through 35. Same thing for the places. So say, in particular, I really wanna do pediatrics in Augusta at a certain practice because I know the physician, or I know that he can write me a good letter of recommendation, or it's just a physician I wanna build a better relationship with. I would rank that place number one, and then there's like, for pediatrics, it's like 28 different places that you can rank, and they range all over the state. Like I said, we get a bunch of choices. But say I wanted really in particular to do psychiatry in Macon, which is not where the med school is. It's at a different healthcare system. I would rank that number one and hope that I get that location for that specific rotation. Now, here's where it gets pretty bad. The reason why we all scramble to get our preferences set is kind of, look, I'm gonna say this in jest, but not really. They they give us the illusion of choice, but we, we really don't have a choice. I could rank something dead last and end up getting it, or I could rank something first and end up getting my third choice or my fourth choice, fifth choice, I just don't know. And the fact that half of us didn't get to submit our, our rankings or preferences means that all the things that we didn't select 
those are randomized, okay? So somewhere that you definitely don't want to go could just random number generated be put number three on your list, which would suck. But I can't complain too much because that could end up happening anyways, even if the system did work. So it's messed up, okay? So that is how we decide our entire next year of life where we're gonna be, what order we do our rotations in. That's why I was kind of upset at the beginning of the video. But life goes on. I think they're reopening it and they found some glitches in it. They're reopening it tomorrow. We'll see what happens and hopefully I can fill it out and actually submit. But yeah, that is a long-winded explanation for how our clinical rotations work, at least our core clinical rotations. I don't even know what electives I get to select because they don't tell us. Welcome to med school. Y'all know what day it is. Quiz day. Not the craziest sunrise I've seen, but it'll do. <laughs> and Ace, how you feeling? Yep. <laughs> That's the best you got. Oh, what do you want? Give me, how you feeling? 